Hey y'all, Christian from Thunder Lazy here. Want to show you how to use the import of the device profile uh, for the easy button method so that this profile will bring in a lot of the basic setup, offsets and stuff like that, just to make life simple. Now we've got two versions. You're going to get the USB or a standard ethernet, which will match the stock IP on the machine. If you decide to go with ethernet, you can of course change the IP to whatever fits for your network. Now, when you boot up Lightburn, if you don't have a device created, it's going to force you to create one. That's where you would start this. If you've already been using Lightburn, say with the no device type uh, trial or whatever, you can then just click the devices button to bring this window up. And then we can start importing. So once we get to this point here, we're going to click the uh, import button. That should bring up a file explorer. Let me drag that on over. And we're, we want to navigate down to the Thunder Drive. Uh, whatever, you know, it shows up, it may be D drive or E drive on your computer. Um, you know, it'll vary. Then you're going to want to navigate through here. Now, right now for this setup, it's going to be under the communication setting for Lightburn. It may be in a different folder location on your particular USB stick, but what you're looking for is a file that's named after the machine, the serial number, ethernet or USB, and the extension is a .lbdev. So it'll be somewhere on the USB stick. You may just have to go clicking around in the folders. So we're just gonna click through one. I will click ethernet, you click open. It imports it in for you, creates a device profile, and you're basically done. Uh, it's gonna populate that down here. There we go. So now I've got this base device set up. If I click on my settings, You'll then see it's got the sizes. It imported my uh, scanning offsets. It enabled them. It disabled that start button for me. Gave me a little bit of start delay. It made sure my Z axis stuff was disabled so that I don't have the bed moving when I don't need it to. It's got a default IP address, which I can change to fit my network. It's got my origin set right for me. And then if I go to the additional settings, it's pulled in the data uh, that Lightroom would typically read for your preview. So it really does make it easy and uh, makes it simple. Thank you all for joining us. Have a good day. Let us know if you have any questions.